So we're here at the Museum of London Archaeology in the bone washing room. And we're here because scientists think they may have discovered a burial pit dating back to 1665 and the Great Plague. Mike Henderson is here to explain a little bit about it. Senior osteologist, thank you so much for joining us. Sarah's washing these bones. It's an important discovery, isn't it? Yeah, it's really great. We've just finished the excavation of the, the Bedlam New Churchyard down at Liverpool Street working with Crossrail. And we excavated approximately 3,500 burials um, the burial ground was in use from 1569 up until the 1730s. So this was a time of, of significant events in London, a great change as the population grew. It encompassed the, the Great Fire of London, um, the Civil War, but also the Great Plague of 1665. Mm -hmm. So we also found evidence of a well-defined pit containing approximately 45 individuals. And we're hoping through further testing we might be able to determine if, if these people were, were dying from the plague. So Sarah's washing these bones, we're in here in this room with them. We're not all going to get the plague, are we? No, no. The, the bacterium that causes plague and causes it to be passed from person to person doesn't survive in the ground that long. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining us. Well, you can see Sarah here washing these bones and what happens next is that they've got to go all the way down the corridor here at London Museum Archaeology to be dried out. You can see along here all the bones being stored. We have a whale bone there cow bone. So after they've been washed back down to the drying room, this is where all the bones will be codified and so they can start to put together different pieces of bone to match up to different human beings. And if we just go inside, we can see one of these neatly laid out sets to work out if indeed these people did die from the plague. <laughs>